What are the tools that we use here at the FigCo to grow our business? That's what we're gonna go through in today's video. The list is fairly long. There are a bunch of tools that we use day in and day out that help us every single day improve our business, communicate, create content, sell, and the like. So if you wanna learn more about any of the different tools we talk about in today's video, I'll put links down below in the description where for most of them, you can get a free trial. Some of these are affiliate links. So if you click and make a purchase, we may earn a commission at no extra cost to you. Also for a lot of the tools we talk about in today's video, we have tutorial and review videos. So if you wanna learn more, you can check out those videos as well. Let's get into our list. ConvertKit is our go-to email marketing software. We've tested out a bunch of options here and ConvertKit is hands down the best for our type of business. They're focused on email marketing for creators. They provide tools to help you collect emails through landing pages and forms. The segmentation and automation is also second to none. We're using a paid plan for ConvertKit, but you can use ConvertKit for free for up to 1,000 subscribers. We use lead pages for landing pages. So ConvertKit has landing pages included with the email marketing software, but right now lead pages is the best option that we've come across for creating landing pages that get signups. Our website is built with Squarespace. We've been using Squarespace for a handful of years. We have tutorials on this channel and the Spanish channel for a bunch of website builders. We're little by little growing the amount of content on our website, our blog, so that we're getting more and more search traffic. We don't actually use Squarespace to sell our courses and other services. We use Samcart for sales pages. So a sales page is a long one page website with one focus to sell whatever that one product or services. So to sell all of our courses and services, we build out a sales page with Samcart. Right now we host our courses with Teachable. So Teachable is a phenomenal platform for your students to log in, view their courses, for you to be able to issue certificates, see the progress that they've made. We use Google Workspace for our email, calendar, most video calls, a little bit Zoom, I guess, and then Google Drive. So Google Drive is super important for us because that's where we store a bunch of our videos. So we upload to Google Drive, the editor can download it, edit it, and then upload to YouTube, upload to Facebook ads, or wherever we may happen to be publishing that video. I find myself spending a lot of time reviewing the analytics of our Facebook and Google ads. So we have a bunch of ads on Facebook and Instagram, as well as through Google, you can, we have some display ads. We've done search ads in the past, as well as ads on YouTube. A more advanced tool, if you want to have offers that expire, we use Deadline Funnel. So if someone goes and views the offer during the period where they have a discount, they see one page, or if they go to the page after the offer expires, then it goes back to the original price. Another calendar tool that we use quite a bit is Calendly. So Calendly, you can send someone a link. They see what's available on your calendar. You can choose certain days of the week. You can make sure that there's a certain amount of time between when someone signs up or when they're viewing the calendar and when they can sign up. You can also choose how long the meetings are, um, how much time you need to have between one meeting and another so that you don't have anything overlapping and it cuts down a ton on the back and forth of scheduling. So to be able to communicate with our students and for them to be able to communicate with each other, we use Circle to manage our community. So we find it to be a phenomenal tool to allow us to stay in touch with our students, for them to be able to communicate with each other, to send one-on-one -on -one messages, to have group messages, we can do live streams there. So basically every business today has a huge need for design. So this could be thumbnails for YouTube videos, a PDF that you're gonna download on a landing page, icons on a sales page, there's a huge need for this and not everybody has a graphic designer. Canva is a tool with thousands and thousands of templates that allow even the most novice designer, someone with zero design skill, to create designs for their business. If you'd like to get feedback through surveys and questionnaires, the best software that we found for that is Typeform. So we find ourselves sending out questionnaires or surveys to our students, to people who signed up for our email list. Or if you read the book Ask, you can use surveys as a way to help guide people through a funnel. So you can essentially use the survey with different kind of if-then statements where you can essentially guide someone through a diagnostic and they get a very specific response because of a survey or quiz that they went through that you created. So for video editing, most of our team uses DaVinci Resolve. So DaVinci Resolve is one of the most powerful video editing software Softwares. So it's as good as Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro and 
the free version works completely fine. It's not the simplest video editing software out there, but if you take the time to learn the software, you don't have to pay for anything and you'll be able to grow and continue to learn new things that you can do within the video editing software. Notion is a software we use to manage our content, projects, and the task for each individual member of the team at the FigCo. One thing I've been asked about quite a bit is what I use to record the screen of my computer for all of the tutorial videos that we've done. And we use a free tool, QuickTime, which is available on any Mac. So I'll be recording myself talking and the microphone connected to the camera, and then I record my screen using QuickTime. Laura, my business partner, recently launched a podcast and to record the video and audio for that, we use Riverside. So Riverside is a little bit different than using Zoom or Google Meet because it's essentially recording the audio and the video on each person's computer separately. And over time, depending on the internet connection, it's uploading those videos and audio to the cloud and we can download it from there. With using Riverside, it's recorded perfectly on your computer and then uploaded so that you have crystal clear audio and great video for our podcast. We haven't done this in a couple of months, but in general, we try to go live on YouTube a few times a month. And to do that, we use StreamYard. Also for Instagram and for TikTok, we use Later's link in bio. So that allows us to build a very simple one page website with the most important links where Instagram and TikTok only allow you to essentially have one permanent link in your bio. Internally at the FigCo, how we use to communicate on a day-to-day -day basis is through Slack. So we're just using the free version of Slack. I think you have 10,000 or so messages. So we only have the history for probably the last two or three months, and that just slowly gets deleted or we don't get access to it because we're not currently paying Slack. It's really important to at least periodically review your analytics. So this could be YouTube analytics, Instagram analytics, uh, TikTok analytics, Google analytics, and see how your content is performing. What's working? What isn't working? What improvements can you make to continue to get more traffic, more interactions, and more sales? We use Ahrefs for both Google and YouTube SEO. So we can analyze our website traffic, the backlinks, the keywords we rank for, the search traffic for certain keywords, both on Google and on YouTube through Ahrefs. Another YouTube SEO tool we find ourselves using all the time is vidIQ. So vidIQ will tell you how competitive a certain keyword is, how high the search volume is for it. They'll give you ideas for titles, for tags, and just a bunch of other analysis to help you make better decisions for your YouTube content. If you wanna learn more about any of them, either the tutorial or review videos we've created or links directly to their websites, check out the description below. If you wanna watch more content of ours on YouTube, our most recent video is up above and YouTube thinks you'll like the video down below. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye-bye.